out a game. This is my 8 year old laptop and it comes with a processor from AMD and believe me guys this processor is a very basic one not even the top one at that time so right now it barely able to run windows properly it even take lot of time to open office application forget about windows 11 because it does not support or have ppm chip inside so it is barely useful nowadays or you can say like i can't use it you know anymore hi there everyone my name is pritam and in this video i'll be talking with you about how we can turn this machine to a usable one you know how we can extend its life because right now if you see in terms of physical appearance this hardware is perfect there is nothing like major scratch dent or anything in my display everything work perfectly fine except the performance so how are we going to get it so in this video we will be seeing how we can turn this machine into a usable one so without ado let's get started okay now here we are in computer screen and the os that i'm going to talk about is from google and known as google chrome os flex now let me quickly open it up and here we go so this is the home page of Google Chrome OS Flex and here you can click on try Chrome OS Flex. But instead of going through this method, I will show you the simpler one. Now before we get started, let me quickly talk about the basic prerequisite of installing Google Chrome OS Flex. First of all, you should have a flash drive of capacity 8 GB or more. Secondly, you should have Chrome installed in your PC while google chrome browser because in our next step we're going to install chromebook recovery utility so i will also provide the link of this one in the description of this video so that you can directly reach to this page and now we need to click here on add to chrome now we need to click on add extension and in this way you know we will able to install this extension here in our system now as we can see i can't see it uh, for that what I will do I will click here on this icon which says extension and I will pin it now I can see it or even let's say you don't want to pin it you can simply click here on extension and you can access it directly by clicking here now here we can see we can have either a SD card or a flash drive of 8 gigabyte or more which I already talked about now just insert a pen drive to a PC or laptop and then click on get started also please make sure to watch this complete tutorial because I will also share my first impression and review at the later end of this video that how actually this work in my 8 year old laptop now I will click here on this select manufacturer and this time I will select Google Chrome OS Flex now I will click here on select product and will select this option now I will click on continue and here I need to select my pen drive which I have already connected with my PC now don't forget to take backup from your pen drive before you start this process now click on continue now here we can see the process of download has begun this process may take a while based on your internet connection here we can see we have successfully created our recovery media now i will click on done before we start let me just quickly show you the specification of the cpu of my old laptop and here you can see the amd e16010 apu which is installed in my old laptop is far behind then third generation of intel core i3 here yeah, you can see the benchmark in pass mark and the single thread rating is even less than half of what intel third generation can perform so you can imagine like how bad processor actually it is if i talk about the ram then this laptop have 4 gigabyte of ram and a 256 gigabyte of ssd which really didn't make any difference in case of windows now let's try to install this chrome os flex to this machine 
Okay, so first of all, what I will do, I will unplug this pen drive from my PC. And now uh, here is the pen drive and here is my laptop. Now I will plug it in to any of its working port. And fortunately, uh, as of now, every port is working in this laptop. Now let me tell you how you can boot your system to BIOS mode or BIOS setup. Actually, every manufacturer have different button placed. Uh, let's say if I talk about HP, then HP has escape key from which you can go to its BIOS setup. Similarly, some machines have delete button or some machine have F2. And if I talk about the desktop, then generally the desktop have delete button as the option to go into boot menu. But this laptop is an exception. Here it have got special button which is placed here. And it is really very difficult to press this button. And now here we can see our system got started and it will give me some option. Now I want to go to bio setup. I will choose this option. And the setting we need to do here is just we need to make sure that our boot mode is UEFI and we have enable boot from pen drive option. So by default generally it is turned on. Now what I will do, I will press F10. Now again I will select uh, this boot menu option and will press enter. Now I will choose my pen drive as a boot drive. And here we go, the first glimpse of the Chrome OS logo. And here we can see it says that welcome to cloud ready 2.0. And from here, I guess we can change our language if we want. Now uh, I want to keep it as it is. Or maybe I can select English India and keyboard layout as US. Now uh, let's click on get started. Also just check what is there inside accessibility. So we can see the spoken feedback and the large mouse cursor which look pretty awesome but let me just make it smaller and I wonder this feature is not available with windows mm, okay but then again these are some common features we also have like additional docked magnifier this also I can't see now let me just close it and let's go back by clicking on OK, get started and here we can see uh, we have got these two options. Let's click on try it first and now I'm going to click on next. Now let me just connect it with the internet. Now here I need to accept the term and condition and let's click on you next now i need to sign in with my google account you can also use your phone so based on your preference you can either log in with your google account or maybe with your phone number as of now i don't want to turn on the sync Now I need to click on accept and continue. Now just click on agree for this Google assistant. And then uh, let's click again on agree. So you can also teach your assistant to recognize your voice. But as of now, I'm just skipping it. And now let's click on get started. Now finally here you can see we have successfully installed this Chrome OS Flex to this PC. If I talk about the performance guys, being honest, I would say it is almost similar to what I was getting with Windows 10. I can't see any improvement as of now, but what I will do, I will give it a chance and I will try to install it in this PC. Then only I guess I believe I can see how good actually it is. Because right now let's, we have clicked on a video and you can see even the video it's not perfectly smooth it is struggling to even play the video and i have already clicked on like close button and it responded me after some time 
So let me just quickly install it and then I will get back to you and will share my experience. And still you can see how is the video performance. So here is how it performed. I hope guys this video might have given you a good insight of what actually this Chrome OS offers in terms of performance. If you ask me my honest opinion about this machine then if I compare it with Windows then this machine cannot support the latest offering from Windows which is Microsoft Windows 11 although it can run Microsoft Windows 10 because it meets the minimum system requirement but if I compare these both, the Chrome OS Flex and Windows 10, because I was running Windows 10 previously, then I would say uh, in terms of performance, I can see uh, 10 to 20% boost. How I am saying this is uh, by opening Google Chrome, which was also installed when I was using Windows 10 installed in this machine. And right now the Chrome OS Flex, which is opening the Chrome OS slightly faster. Again, this might be the effect of that we have installed the Chrome OS Flex right now into this PC. And another thing that we need to keep in mind that it can only run the software and application that comes for Chrome. So you cannot run any application that used to come with your Windows. So you will not able to run the fully fledged Microsoft Office inside. Although I would say there is a better alternative because it comes with Google Docs and Google Docs, all these are actually cloud powered. So it will not actually consume that much amount of resources that the Microsoft products used to consume because these are mostly cloud powered. So if you're going to use this machine for basic office productivity application or as a student, then definitely for sure you can go with Chrome OS but in case if your laptop is competitive enough to run windows then i will strongly suggest you to stay with windows and go with windows so i hope guys you find this video informational and helpful if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and i will see you soon in my next video till then bye bye